in November 2010, which went undercover to put PC repair services from high street electrical stores to the test, with results published in March 2011. Since then, Curry's and PC World, both owned by Dixon's Retail, has revamped their service, calling it Know How. So we decided to go undercover once again to see how the new service compares to the old Tech Guys service from last year. But before we conducted our research, we caught up with Paul Reed from Know How to see what PC World and Curry's was trying to achieve. Uh, the know-how service is definitely not just about repairing laptops and TVs. Um, we'll also help you with your installations of washing machines, integrated washing machines, dishwashers, integrated dishwashers and gas appliances. The know-how brand, as we formulated it, was not just about what we wanted to do for our customers. It was about us listening to our customers first. After listening to our customers, we then formulated a completely new service training for all of our colleagues. One of the first things we did was to pull all of our services in-house for laptops and TV repairs. That included the call centre, our repair centre which we pulled to one location, including our spares warehouse, and also our home delivery network comes under one roof and under one team. Within the National Repair Centre, we repair 10,000 products each week. Uh, the breakdown of that is around 8,500 laptops and around 1,500 TVs. Um, the turnaround time you can expect is once you let us to come and pick up the product, uh, we'll have that product re-delivered to you within 10 days. So in terms of upgrades and, and help with your PC through its lifespan, uh, we do offer a range of services in store. Again, you can walk in whenever you like or you can ring our UK call centre. There are certain things that we cannot do within service bars, uh, in which case we may have to send it away to our national repair centre. The feedback that we get is always welcome. There is also always processes we can improve. There's also elements of our service we can always improve on and we welcome feedback from our customers to drive that forward. It's commendable that both PC World and Curry's wants to improve their services, but it seems that there's a long way to go. In the 2011 Witch High Street Shop Satisfaction Survey, where we spoke to 11,500 shoppers, PC World was ranked a lowly 98th out of 100, while Curry's occupied the 70th spot. So back then to the investigation. Here's one of our principal scientists explaining our methodology, after which we'll hear the results. To ensure a fair comparison our last PC repairs test, it's important we use the same methodology as last time. That means the same number of PCs, the same number of faults, and the same undercover approach. For the desktop PCs, we introduced two simple faults. We unplugged the hard drive to stop it booting, and we unplugged the DVD drive as a secondary fault. With the laptop, we introduced a simple software fault that prevents Windows from booting. A good PC repair person should be able to fix this without having to reinstall Windows and so to the results. The computers were scattered to branches of PC World and Curry's, the length and breadth of the country. The know-how service proved to be better when repairing desktops than it was with laptops. Two of the desktops were returned the very next day, while one was available for collection the very same afternoon. One kind member of the know-how team even offered to carry our desktop back to the car. We consider one of these returned desktops, however, only to constitute a partial fix, because the hard drive was completely replaced. The old hard drive was returned to the customer, but no offer was made to retrieve any of the personal data from it. The other two desktops had simply had their hard drives plugged back in again, so not only did they work, but our customers also had access to their personal data. This partial fix set us back £94.99, while the other two repaired desktops cost us £30 and £40. And so on to the laptops. Now in this instance, the know-how service team failed on all three attempts. The first four-year-old laptop was immediately dismissed on the grounds of its old age. Instead, an £80 data retrieval service was offered. The second and third laptop were both held, one for a week and one for 19 days. A £50 deposit was also taken. However, when they were collected, absolutely no work had been done and the deposit was returned. On both of these occasions, Know How offered a £700 data retrieval service. We said no thank you very much and left with our two broken laptops. So, how does this new PC World and Curry's service know-how compare with the old PC World and Curry's service tech guys, and how does it compare with other electrical store PC repair services? Well, the Dixon's tech guys of last year and the Dixon's know-how service of this year both failed to fix any of our three broken laptops. 
Comet also failed completely on this test, while Carphone Warehouse and Best Buy, whose stores are beginning to close around the UK, had more success. The Know How team successfully repaired two of our desktops and partially repaired the other. That score matches Best Buy and beats Carphone Warehouse. In last year's test, however, the tech guys scored top marks in these tests, as did Comet. If only the know-how staff had noticed that the old hard drive was only unplugged when they plugged in the new one this time around. Curry's and PC World appear to be attempting to address the issues that caused their branches to be ranked so lowly in our shop satisfaction surveys. And while computer reparation is only a small part of the know-how service, it's a major frustration to many PC owners. Based on the results of this investigation and the feedback that we regularly receive from our members, it would seem that Dixon's know-how still has a long way to go to keep its PC world and Curry's customers satisfied. Now our next High Street Shop Satisfaction Survey will be published in the summer of 2012 and we'll be looking closely to see if any improvements have been made. If you would like to find out more information about this investigation and share with us your experiences of the know-how service, then go to our website at witch.co.uk forward slash know-how.